Hi everyone, my name is Gene Shaw. I've been an illustrator and a graphic designer for a little more than 15 years now. And uh, today we're going to take a look at a few techniques on how to draw charcoal mountain ranges. So mountain ranges using charcoal. And uh, a couple of different uh, techniques and we're going to show you one right now. Alright, so let's talk about a charcoal mountain range. Now, before I start drawing, I always like to give myself a few construction lines. So um, I'm going to say we'll, we'll go for the, you know, the Rockies or the Himalayas and give ourselves like a nice big mountain right here in front. Uh, eh, maybe a smaller one over here. I don't know if you ever saw the, uh, the Sawtooth Mountains um, out west, uh, Western America, but they're phenomenal. Uh, and then sort of in closer, I I'm going to want something here little closer, maybe a, more of like a rolling hill. Anyway, something like that. Um, typically, a mountain at the top will be brighter. So, uh, so what we want to do is we want to start shading probably from the bottom. Now I'm just going to lay down a, a quick base of color here. And then I'm going to take it in. I'm just going to get right in there with my finger and just take it, take it up to the uh, the top there. And don't be afraid to to lay out some some solid solid shapes because uh, remember this is rock and and rock tends to have angles. It's it's not much curved to it. Uh, so just keep that in mind as you're sort of feeling your way into these mountains. And you know have fun with it. Just play around with the, with the shape, play around with the charcoal, the color a little bit. Don't be afraid to get dirty. I know when I was a kid, I was the clean one. Uh, I hated charcoal. And uh, over time, it has not grown on me, but, uh, but I can use it. Um, anyway, but remember, the peaks are going, to be, are going to be whiter. Maybe they have snow on them, or give myself a good base of color down here. Peaks are going to have snow on them. And the other thing that you want to remember is that your light source is coming from one direction. Okay, So in this case, it'll be the sun. So uh, we have the darker areas to the western side. And so maybe it's a, a little bit of a morning, uh, morning uh, painting here. And again, don't be afraid to get dirty. Let's, let's keep the, uh, the tops of these mountains as white as we can for a little while because we want, the, uh, we want to give it the illusion of snow. And then I'm just going to come in here and, and very lightly give myself some rolling hills and just real, use the side of the charcoal, just get in there and real lightly kind of shade that in a little bit. And again, just get, I'd get right in there with your finger, what the heck. And then if you want to detail anything, you know, you get in there with the, the sharp piece of charcoal and you can go, go a little more detailed and say, I want to, I want to shade this a little better. And just kind of just finish it up. And you can get in there that way. But anyway, that's, uh, those are your basic uh, mountain shading techniques in, uh, in charcoal. Maybe come up here and do some clouds. If you got some leftover charcoal on your fingers, you can just kind of get in there and shade in the uh, shade in the sky. But uh, but there you have it. Just a simple technique to uh, help your charcoal mountain ranges look a little better. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.